I had recently driven one lap around the island of Cozumel on a scooter, but I missed the last boat of the day and was now homeless. What was I going to do? And what was going to happen to me? Now the last boat had just left the marina. I missed the ferries, I'm stuck here in Cozumel now, and there are no ferries that go. <laughs> yeah. So the question is, where am I gonna sleep tonight? When all the hotels are closed, they don't open until about two weeks from now. Thank you very much for the help. Time to go. I'm <laughs> late. I'm not homeless anymore. I only had to speak to one person and he helped me. He had a friend that's, uh, that he called and now I actually have a place to sleep for the night. Let's see if I can find this place. It's supposed to be close to a pharmacy. <laughs> But the curfew starts in like 20 minutes. You can't go outside apparently after five for another two weeks or something. <laughs> so I have to find this place really quickly. Otherwise the police is gonna come and take me. Oh. I have a room for tonight. 500 pesos, about 25 uh, US dollars. It's not bad actually, but I've stayed in much cheaper in Mexico for 500 pesos. You get a really, really, really nice room usually for 500 pesos, but it's a room and I was lucky that I'm not homeless for tonight. Oh, there's some kind of torture room here, look. Oh, oh, oh. You will be tortured here tonight. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's been a long, long day. But I'm really happy that I came here. <laughs> but hopefully I don't have to be tortured in the torture room tonight. <laughs> but I haven't seen anybody for a while. This area is a bit scary actually. Let's go check it out to see what we have here. You can't go outside after 5 p.m. So now everybody has to stay inside but I think I'm the only person staying here. Perhaps or maybe there are some other people. Let's go and check out the torture room. because um, I wanted to just go out on the street even though there's a curfew you shouldn't go out after five but um, uh, here is uh, I'm on my way back now because uh, I'll show you what what it is like over here oh I'm safe I hope two big locks and I'm alone in here in this place because I missed that stupid boat. Thirty minutes later.
It's just a dream. Hello. Just woke up here and it's time to go to the ferry and head back to Playa del Carmen. Let's go to the ferry terminal. I had a rough night so I was excited to get to the boat. Let's see if we can catch the ferry this time and not miss it again. It was an early morning on the island of Cozumel in Mexico. I could see the boat at the marina and it was time to leave the island and head back to Playa del Carmen. I am out here on the main road now and I can see the boat. <laughs> the boat is here, the boat that I missed yesterday. But this time we're not gonna miss it. Today I'm gonna go on a different ferry than yesterday, Ultramar, a fast speedboat. Alright, I'm on the ferry. It's a beautiful day here, about 28 degrees Celsius. The sky is almost blue and I'm really excited to get going. The water is so clean here, look. It's a nice boat actually, there's a bar here on the middle deck also. Let's see if I can show you the bar. I was on the boat and already felt a bit seasick. It's very sad because one of my dreams is to live on a sailboat and sail around in the Caribbean. I think my tendencies for seasickness comes from my severe head injury a couple of years ago when I spent 10 days in the hospital and lost my sense of smell. I'm back in Playa del Carmen after my boat trip. About a 30 minute uh, trip and it cost me 200 Mexican pesos, about 10 US dollars. But now I'm back where I've been staying for the past month. Guess what? At 2 o'clock today, the pool will be all mine. The pool where I've been staying. Seeing some more people here actually now on the streets and uh, there's a store open there playing music. It's a good sign. It seems like this place is probably gonna open up soon also. Playa del Carmen. I'm on my way back into Playa Car. Here just outside Playa del Carmen. I'm excited to be back home. It's two o'clock and it's time for some pool tricks. Oh. Yes, I was kicked out of the pool the other day, but now today is my day. You know, after the corona they set up a schedule, so now you can only go once per week. And right now it's two o'clock, so it's my turn. Oh, 
just an incredible day like always. Mexico never lets you down. Always great, great frying. Now it's time, like I said the other day, for the double spin into a dive. But it's gonna be very hard because it's very shallow in here. <sighs> I'm for the second pool trick. Okay, now I couldn't go to the pool again, because apparently they, now they had put chlorine in the pool <laughs> and dumped a bunch of chlorine in the pool. So the manager came and said that I couldn't go swimming. <laughs> Always something new. So I was able to perform one pool trick like the other day. Now Friday, on Friday I can go apparently. What am I gonna do now? No pool tricks today. <laughs> It's a, it's a very, very sad day. No more pool tricks. I'm very, 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 very upset. We have to fry in the sun on Friday. I'm on my way to buy some water, but I probably will not be doing much more exciting today, unfortunately. Maybe some... Maybe something. I got my water and a small bag of chips. <laughs> this will be the end of the vlog. Thank you very much for watching and please leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.